So you've just had fun creating an awesome brand identity, but now it's time for the boring part, brand guidelines. Well, in this video, I'll show you a simple way to create brand guidelines in Adobe Illustrator. And I've included free templates to help you save so much time. So make sure you stick around till the end. So I previously created a video called what to include in brand guidelines. You can check it out with the link in the description below. Here is my list of what I will include in this brand guidelines I'm about to create. It will have the six key elements which I will organize in pages and sections. So what I'm going to do is create a new document and I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080. That's just the standard screen size. So now that we've got this, what I want to do is create some form of margin. So this page is going to be the kind of foundational page that's going to be used and consistent across all different pages. So let's create a square on the top left. And I also want to apply that to the bottom right. And now I'm going to create another square, but a rectangle. So now we've got this, we can delete these corners and I'm going to make sure this is aligned to center. It should be because we've done the top left and the bottom right. So that's aligned to center. And what I'm going to do is right click and do make guides. So now this is a guide. We can duplicate this guide across all other pages. So these are the margins. Now we've got the margins. What I want to do is work on the font and the font sizes I'm going to use. So this should typically be a header font, subheader font, body font and microtext. So now we've got all four texts. What I'm going to do is increase the sizes and decrease the sizes for each of them. So for the dimensions we've chosen 1920 by 1080, I typically find for header, the best size is 200 points. So I'm going to click on the header. I'm going to click on the font size and change that to 200. So now we've got that as 200, which is going to be the max size. I can now, what I'm going to do now is work on the subheader size, which I like to take the same size for the header and take this and just do divide 1.618 which is golden ratio. And when you do that, you then again have a smaller size. The reason I like to do this is just makes everything consistent. So now I've divided everything by 1.618 from the previous one. You can see that we have the sizes here. I want my micro text to be smaller. So again, I'm going to divide this again by 1.618. And then we have an even smaller micro text. And for body font, I want this to be slightly smaller again. So divide by 1.618 and we have a smaller body font. So now we have this. Now we want to start populating the pages. So I'm going to duplicate the artboards using the artboard tool. And then I'm also going to add some text in pages and just create some cover pages based on the list that I have created. So I've gone ahead and added some text on the duplicated pages. What you can see is there is some micro text and text in different places that are all consistent. So what you can do is create a page that has the most micro text, copy it. And when you copy it, let me just bring that in a bit more. And when you copy it, you want to do control C or command C and you want to paste in front. So I'm going to do control F, alt F. And that way, when you do this, you can just make sure everything is consistent. And if there's any errors, you can go back and change it. And this just ensures all the micro text and text placement on all pages are just consistent. So now you can see the brand guidelines finally come together. I've added some colors, rearranged some text layout and added the logo as a placeholder example. And you can also see I've added page numbers. So in Illustrator, it's not automatic. You can't do this automatically. So I've included in the description a script on how to do this along with um, the link all below. So we have almost half of the brand guidelines. Now I'm going to create the remaining sections that was 
in the list we initially created. So here is the brand guidelines. So I've spent some time and just refining everything, making it more clean and just simple. So finished the sections and added all six important elements. You can see we have sections such as brand overview, logo, colors, typography, visual elements, corporate assets, applications, photography, and just all of the important elements, especially pages such as logo misusage, which is definitely very important. So now we have the guidelines. Again, I've cleaned it up. You can download this as an Illustrator file and InDesign. The link is in the description below. Also another template. So I've made another variation of the original corporate example and I've made like an urban kind of theme. So if you have like a condensed font, then you can go ahead and download this. Again, this is also available in Adobe Illustrator and InDesign. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.